So we're now going to show you a series of videos illustrating the use of the Rotoboy vacuum lifting and turning device. So Rotoboy is quite a specialised piece of kit that's intended for use with the roof panels only. It can't be used with the wall panels in their situation. The design of the Rotoboy uh, is such that it's uh, intended to lift and also rotate panels that may be delivered to site in interleaved packs. And by interleaved, what we mean there is that every second panel is usually upside down. Uh, company, panel manufacturing companies do that to save on transport volume. And unless you specify all crown up delivery, which comes at a premium cost, the packs will arrive on site with the panels interleaved. So Rotoboy is a machine that you can use to actually solve that handling problem of turning those upside down panels the correct way to vacuum lift to the roof. Now examples of interleaved panels include uh, Kingspan RW, but also other Kingspan panels such as Kingzip and uh, Top Deck. It also includes Tata uh, 333 Trismet panels, Stedman's AS35 panels, and various Arcelor panels from the continent as well. So the Rotoboy is ideally suited to lift panels of that type uh, from around about six or seven meters long up to a maximum of 18 meters long. There's also a weight limitation on the Rotoboy of 350 kilos, um, but that's usually enough to handle panels of that type up to 18 meters long. The Rotoboy can also, also be used for Eurobond roof span panels um, but they don't tend to be quite that long, but they are heavy. Now, we will have chosen the configuration and the suction pads uh, on the Rotoboy to suit the panels that you have told us you're lifting. And on this example today, we're going to lift with Kingspan RW panels. So we've got a certain type of suction pad attached to the machine here. But there are other examples. I'll just take you across here and show you other examples. So you may, if you're lifting Kingzip, uh, receive the machine with narrow pads like this uh, those intended to lift uh, to, to fit between the stiffening ribs on a Kingsit panel or over here we've got examples of suction pads that are used for a Stedman AS35 panel so it's imperative that you tell us which panels you intend lifting the length of the panels and obviously any other details that's pertinent now the Rotoboy is quite a big lifter and there are other limitations on its use, and that re re applies really to the roof pitch. So ideally, under most circumstances, you're not going to lift panels at a steeper than a 15 degree pitch. If you have got steeper pitch than that, then you need to talk to us and we can consult on that. Um, but the machine itself is quite heavy and it's got a, quite a high self-leveling uh, motion. So uh, steep pitches are usually not lifted with a rotor boy. As with all our machines, uh, when the Rotoboy arrives on site, it will be packed into a transport box, or in this case, a storage cradle. Everything that you need for the panels that you've told you're going to lift will be included in this cradle. And it's very important that you take note of how the machine is packed away, because it's your responsibility to repack it at the end of the hire. And as we also say it's a good idea to use your mobile phone, take a few photographs or even a short video, then you can remember how the machine's packed away. Uh, if you don't pack it away, there's a risk that the machine may be damaged in the carrier network and also that you may be charged extra in the transport. Also, when it arrives on site, it will be wrapped in normally clear pallet wrap. You should note that that pallet wrap is now biodegradable, so when you dispose of that, bear that in mind. And also, please check the contents of the uh, kit Make sure the suction pads look right and everything is there that you might need. If anything's missing or looks wrong, please tell us immediately so that we can then uh, rectify that situation or reassure you that everything's there that you need. Okay, so I'm just going to stop this video, then we'll restart and Neil and Gabe will come into shot and we'll start assembling the machine. Assembly takes place in the cradle that it's delivered in.